teaching you guys on how to play Java servers on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Yes, I did make this video about a year ago, but the steps are gonna be so much more clear. Things have changed, and of course, I have a disclaimer for you guys who are gonna be doing this. You really wanna watch this whole video. By the way, leave a like in this video if you guys played any Java or Bedrock Edition server this week. I'm expecting a thousand likes the first hour. <laughs> but enough talking and said, let's show you guys on how to play these awesome servers. Join the Wig Army today by hitting that red subscribe button and that bell icon so you never miss out on a video. Also, if you guys want more awesome videos like this, be sure to give this video a like. Now, one of the first server you guys are gonna join once you get this baby set and running is Hypixel, which is pretty awesome, but a disclaimer, you can get banned. When I first posted this video, I did show Simon the video, you know, we talk here and there, and he said you most likely will get banned because the anti team may think you're using like a hack or something. So you can use this if you guys want to, but you most likely will get banned. That's just how it is. Just wanted to warn you guys, and if any of you guys got banned in the first video, I didn't know. I'm very, very sorry about that. I just wanted to let you guys know um, about that. But I'm gonna try to make the steps as clear as I can um, and make sure you guys can follow through. And by the way, if you guys have an old computer, you should use that because this is only for PC. But if you guys have a PC that you just don't use, that's just laying around, you wanna do these steps so you can actually play this baby on mobile. You just have to be on the same home network to play this baby on mobile. So grab an old PC, do this, and play on your mobile device. But let's just get straight into this baby. So first things first, what we're gonna do is type in PowerShell, um, and we're gonna make sure that we click on Run as Administrator. Um, there we go, we're gonna click on Yes, there you go. And make sure that you do copy and paste this right into here and click on Enter. This is just gonna make sure that you can, you know, join the server. Um, so this is the command, this is from the previous video. Click on Enter and make sure that it says Okay, so when you click on enter, it's gonna say okay dot, and then after that, you could just simply click on the X and you are all set to go. You guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, um, but you could click on the X and you're all set to go. I already did that step, I didn't even need to do that, but I just want to do that just to show you guys um, on what to do. Second thing you guys wanna do is make a folder for Geyser to be inside of. So what we're gonna do is just make a folder. Um, we're just gonna call it uh, Java, we can just call it Java service, it doesn't matter. I can even type it. <laughs> Java servers. I already have a geyser. I did do a little test um, and it works perfectly fine. Um, we're just going to leave this folder right here just so you guys don't get confused. Then what you want to do is open the links in the description below. Um, this should be like one or two links pretty simple and what you want to do is go to this beautiful website geysermc.org and click on the download button on the top right and then um obviously these are some stuff you know here that just click on geyser.jar that's the one um that you, we're obviously going to be using so geyser.jar is going to open this baby up um and you want to make sure that you put it on the folder that you just created so we're going to go over here to java servers i don't know if you guys can see this java servers and um click on save Easy peasy lemon squeezy. After doing that, you can click on the back button and click on an installation. Um, obviously, if you guys are doing this for a server, if you want to make a server that you know that works for Java and Bedrock, you can do that. This is the plugin setup. Um, but we're not looking for that. We're looking for the stand alone setup. This is what we're gonna be doing so we can connect to any Java Edition server. After you did those babies, make sure you open the folder that has the guys of that jar. Mine's is Java servers. Right click right here, click on new, um, and go to text document and name this as run.bat. So run and change this to bat. There we go. Make sure you have this baby. And if you guys don't know how to do that or you can't do that, make sure you guys do go to view um, and make sure you guys do click on file name extension. So you guys can change the file name to whatever you guys want to. So make sure you click on view, click on this so you guys can change this to whatever you like to. After doing that, guys, what you want to do is right click on the run.bat and click on edit or make sure you just open um, on notepad. You know, it could be notepad plus or just notepad. Everyone has notepad on their Windows computer. And what you want to do is paste this command. Make sure that it is saved. There we go. And then we could just go back and there we go. Now, what we're going to do is double click this baby. Double click the run. It should show a little command prompt that pumps up right here. Guys, there we go. Downloading the Minecraft jar. And now you guys can see that your folder is starting to have all of this stuff. It's just downloading the stuff and just unpacking it for you guys, which is awesome. Server is being run, which is awesome, guys. Now we could just close this. Make sure you did do the PowerShell that I showed you in the beginning. You are not going to be able to join your server if you don't do that PowerShell command. Um, You know, we got the config.yml, all of that. And um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. The main two things you guys want to focus on is the run.bat and config.yml. This is what you're going to use to run your server. 
and this is what you're going to do to edit the server that you want to join so there we go we are in the config.yml um you guys can see that you don't want to edit any of this at all the bedrock keep it as it is you want to scroll down into the remote section guys um and you see where it says address and it says auto this is where you want to change it to the server that you want to join so we're just going to do um mindplex so us dot mindplex dot net i don't even know if that's the you know <laughs> the ip to say but yeah us but mindplex dot net um this is the default port if this doesn't work make sure you guys do put it on 19132 after we got that baby running and good to go we're just gonna click on the run make sure that this baby should be much much quicker there we go look at literally not even two seconds now what you can do is open up your minecraft and i want you guys to add this server so you can obviously join any java edition server on bedrock edition fingers crossed that this is the right port i don't think i put the right port for mindplex i think it's 10132 um so let's add this go to server scroll all the way down and click on add server put the server address as local host there we go um we're gonna put the port as a uh, 25565 let's name this uh whatever you want so we're gonna name this java save there we go let's just go on full screen actually we're fine we're good um now we can sh we should be able to connect to the server i actually don't even know if you can't connect to the servers because this is like literally the wrong ip i think it's the wrong ip <laughs> And I think this is supposed to be on 25565, guys, if it doesn't work. Make sure this works. I'm pretty sure this is the reason why I was not able to join any servers because I put the wrong um, port. Sorry about that. Right? We should be able to run. There we go. Now we should be able to join the server. Sorry about that. It's just me going crazy. Right? We should be able to join. There we go. Um, it should show Geyser, by the way. Click on join. It should be able to make you join. There we go. Locating server, loading resources, and we should be on a server, but it's going to ask for your information now i'm pretty sure this is what is this i'm pretty sure this is hypixel that we join let me check the config.yml um yes this is indeed hypixel that we joined if we put our account information we are literally going to be in hypixel um i don't want to do it i don't want to risk my account but we are literally going to be in hypixel which is awesome um but yeah this works this works just make sure that this is on 0, .0, 0 which is the default make sure that this is on 25565 and then the main things you guys want to edit is this baby um just edit the ip and if it doesn't work make sure you just change it to 10132 um but other than that you can join any java edition server which is awesome should i do it ah uh, i'm just gonna risk it guys i'm gonna risk it if i get banned i'll just contact the staff let, let me just do this I, I don't even know if this is a good idea uh bad idea guys bad idea and if you know if your account information is not correct you it'll just say like decline or it might just kick you out the server um it's not even working a rip in the chat guys i think i put the wrong account information well i'm happy i did that because i am not trying to get up oh, connection closed that means that was the wrong um information that we give oh wait wait what please wait until we log in i think there we go guys we're at hypixel we're literally on hypixel and i'm youtube rank there we go and it looks so much better but i don't even want to make one movement because i'm not trying to get banned so yeah everything is working perfectly fine does a chest work yep it works and there we go we literally joined hypixel so i'm gonna leave that real quick appreciate it close this i am not trying to get banned uh like i said use this at your own risk but make sure that your config just looks like this don't edit the address do not edit this do not edit this the only thing you want to edit is go to remote and you want to change this ip um and you could just keep the port how it is and if it doesn't work make sure you change the port to 10132 but other than that this is how you join literally java edition servers on bedrock Thank you guys for watching this video if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like let me know what service you guys are going to join in the comment section below and i literally risk my account getting banned so if that doesn't deserve a like i don't know what else deserves a like i swear if i got my account banned in this video oh my god this video will probably popped off 10 times better like literally i got banned off hype that would have been a whole separate video i'm telling you but like i said do this at your own risk you can actually join on mobile um, on xbox on ps4 even yes anything that plays better acquisition you just need a pc and you need to be on the same network or pull forward and you can literally join whatever server you guys love to but like i said do this at your own risk i am not responsible for anything and i'm very very sorry for you guys who got banned on the first time i made a video i didn't, I didn't even know that you can get banned but thank you guys for watching this video it is your boy Pathar, and i'll see you guys in the next one peace